In this video, we're doing a deep dive on the bike rack that we've had our eye on for over a year and a half. Let's get into it. Ryan from e Bike Escape. And JT from e Bike Escape. As I mentioned in the intro, I first reached out to Quicker Stuff back in November 2021 wanting to review this rack. Here we are a year and a half later, and I am so excited to dive into what might be the best thought out e-bike rack on the market. And if you decide that this is the bike rack for you, check out the description. We have a discount code that's exclusive to our audience. It also lets Quicker know that we sent you their way. With that, let's dive into some of the background before we get this unboxed. So like Ryan hinted at, I sent him a link to this rack when we first saw it, uh, when Ryan said he reached out in November of 2021. And since then, we've been really yearning to have this product in front of us so we could see it. Little background about Quicker Stuff. They were founded in 2020 in Grand Junction, Colorado. They are constantly making updates to this. So the rack we have here is the Quicker Stuff's Quick Rack Mach 2. A Little bit of a mouthful, but that tells you all you need to know. They're constantly listening to people, taking in feedback and improving their product, which is something we love. On that note, if you are excited about this rack and wanna see what they come out with in the future with their constant R&D, be sure to like and subscribe to this video so you get notified. We are hopefully gonna be one of the first people with some of those new products when they come out. So yeah. Let's unbox it. Yeah, let's get it out of the box. Just like nice. wheel, wheel straps. Wheel straps. Pause it there. <laughs> Quicker stuff. <laughs> All right, so we got this out of the box and it's virtually comes fully assembled, which is awesome. Just cut a few zip ties, lift it out. And you can see we have two pieces here. We'll get into that a little bit, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about where this rack comes from, because if you're familiar with other bike racks, this might look a little similar to the one-up rack. And that shouldn't be a surprise because the same inventor that invented the one-up rack invented the Mach 2. So this is a new improved, his latest design. That's why they're similar. And there are some differences between the racks. One of them being price that I think is worth pointing out because there is no question that this is a premium bike rack. However, there are some really great benefits, some that I'm personally very excited about when I get into testing this. We're gonna talk about price in just a second, but be sure you stay until the end of the video. We have a ton of e-bikes behind us and we're just gonna start throwing e-bikes on it just to show you how versatile this rack is. All right, JT, how much does it cost? So the Quicker Stuff's Mach 2 base, which is this right here with the hitch attachment, comes in both a two inch and 1.25 inch receiver uh, base comes in at 679 and then every additional bike um, tray that you buy is an additional 479. And what that allows us to do is be modular and really build it to fit your needs. So if you're a person carrying heavy e-bikes you and you're only having for say you and your spouse, you just need to buy the two trays as well as these two trays. They also have the ramp. Ryan, do you wanna go ahead and pull that thing in? We're super excited for this. Some of the bikes we get here are quite heavy and this ramp is really robust and it clips on so you don't have to worry about say forgetting it at home. So it's a really cool additional product. Some other things that we have, we also have their wheel locks, which are these here. Um, we'll show you how these lock into wheels. The nice thing about this is that also we didn't mention, I don't think yet, it's toolless. So all of the keys are the same. And so if you say you wanted to buy the wheel locks later or buy an extra tray later, um, you just tell quicker what your lock combination is and they will re-key it. Um, that may be something you'll have to reach out to them to do, but that's something really cool uh, and really speaks to how high end this product is. They wanna make sure you're getting a fully polished product. And then the last thing we have are these wheel straps. And these are meant for if you have say a fendered bike that you can't get these um, wheel mounts in the 45 degree area on the tire. Those will allow you to just kind of hold the wheel down and stop one of the movements in it. We're gonna show that off to you when we're throwing all the bikes on because we have quite a few bikes over there with fenders. And I'll just add from a user perspective, I really like that Quicker has kept it very simple on their website. 
it's really easy. You just buy the base and then you buy your extensions. They don't have a lot of products for sale on their website. So just from a ease of shopping, say you're new to electric bikes and new to buying a bike rack, they just make it very simple and something that I also appreciate it. All right, Ryan, I think that pretty much sums up the talking part. Let's get this thing mounted on a car and get, I don't know, one of our 50 e-bikes mounted on it. All right, JT is going to put the rack on the van, the escape van for the first time. And we'll get to the first reason that I think this is an awesome bike rack. And that is because it is completely toolless. So you pull the captive pin back there, get that into the hole and slide the rack back. And you just wanna make sure both of those two silver pads are inside of your hitch mount. And then you simply tighten this knob until it gets pretty snug. And then I believe you just push the pin in there and now it is locked in place. So it cannot go past there. And that is a mounted bike rack. And to show off the toolless feature of this bike rack again, Ryan is going to insert the second bike tray. It simply slots on to this bar and then should click down and on. There he goes. And then yeah, push it down and on. All right, similar to the add-on, we have the tray and it mounts right to the end of the rack. And we're gonna put this one on and then show you how this locks into place because we think it is very cool. So I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see. So right here, there's this little pinhole. And if you look at the sides here, you have the cutout. So obviously you put the top on first, slide it down onto here. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is the same way that that bike tray goes on. You put it in here and then you simply push in on a little pin on this blue knob. And then if you notice, there's still a little bit of shake here. You have these little red knobs that, on these springs that you pull back and it's, this basically cups over that bolt on both the right, oh, both the right and the left here. You see how that just goes on? And now that shake is gone and now you're shaking the whole bike rack as one. And just a note, those are keyed as well, right here. So what we're noticing on this is that anything blue is meant to like lock the bike rack together or lock it open. Anything red is something that you may have to touch frequently um, for say lifting up and down the bike trays and then as well as your pins in here. But anything black, you're really not gonna have to touch very often or that's where the wheels are gonna be. So everything on the bike rack, once you've kind of seen it and played with it, is color coded. Really cool feature. One of those things that just kind of helps you. When you're staring at it, you're like, oh, how does this go on? And then it takes two seconds. And you're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's a very logical and well thought out rack. And that runs all the way through the design of this rack. And that brings me to the second reason that I love this bike rack. Up to five inch wide tires, no adapter needed. That's the way it comes from quicker stuff. Speaking of fat tire electric bikes, let's get a true fat tire e-bike on this rack and see how it fits. All right, one thing we did have to do real quick was use the keys to unlock our ramp. Ryan is gonna go ahead and throw that open by grabbing the red handle and I use the locks and the blue handle and I undid the two pins, it comes off. You got your little hooks on here and these two little hooks slide right on there and now we have ourselves a ramp right onto the bike rack, Ryan. What's the first bike we're gonna bring on? First, we got the Aventon Adventure Fat Tire Electric Bike. Look at that, rolls right up there with no problem, but it just slides, it's just, it's like a rubber press fit here. Super solid right up there on the tire. Ryan pulls off the ramp and then you just lock the rear. Oh yeah, you do have to move the red handle to uh, unlock it to move the trays in, which is a nice, uh, nice feature. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, we've hit our first snag per se. So this is something Ryan I know is gonna be extremely happy about. So this was one reason that I was so excited to try this rack out because I'm hauling electric bikes all over constantly, putting them on the back of the vehicle. And this is gonna save me a ton of time. Simply lower that wheel holder, again, toolless, tighten it up and push it into place. And man, this adventure was heavy, which gets me to the next thing that I love about this rack. And that's the weight capacity. With two bikes, you get 120 pounds each tray. And that is heavier than most bike racks on the market and is certainly going to hold up an electric bike such as the Aventon Adventure. 
All right, next we have JT's most recent favorite electric bike, the Electric Expedition. Ooh, that ramp makes this a breeze. Brian, I think you're, uh, I think you're gonna like that ramp. You might have to add that to your list. The next thing that I love about this bike rack is that ramp for super heavy electric bikes yeah. like this one. I'm gonna be using that a lot. Yeah, you are, absolutely. So, and one other thing while we're here loading the Expedition, this is kind of one of the other cool things that Ryan had talked about on the um, Adventure being able to move it. This is a completely different wheel size. So this is a 20 inch wheel, whereas the Adventure is a 26 by four inch wheel. So normally we would have, uh, now it's a little bit of a, somebody has to hold the bike, but normally we would have had to get out a wrench at this point um, and made some adjustments or, uh, or on my rack, I would have had to undo this knob, but here simply unthread this gold knob that's hidden on the back here. And you just pick your place and walk it in. So it's completely toolless. So you can do this by simply having your hands and removing this carriage bolt, which is really cool. And you just simply kind of move it to wherever you want, roughly. Throw your carriage bolt in here to lock it. And there's also slotted areas. So really you have a range of movement that you can adjust it to, which is really cool. If you're doing massive adjustments like us, you may run into having to do these big movements. But yeah, if you're moving, jumping from a 26 inch wheel to a 20 inch wheel, you are going to have to jump tracks here. But for us, you simply push it on in. And this brings me to the next reason that this is an awesome bike rack. It supports wheelbases up to 58 inches, which basically means in practice that can fit any cargo electric bike like yeah. the electric Expedition. One quick thing to note about the Expedition mounted on here though, is that it does have some upward movement. And we know that this is pretty common when you have a rear fender that comes over the rear tire. And that is where the wheel straps are gonna come into play from quicker stuff. You're gonna simply put one around the bottom of the wheel here to hold it to the frame or to the rack itself to eliminate some of that upward movement. So that's a simple uh, solution to a simple problem. All right, we got five more electric bikes to put on this rack, some of the most popular models. You can check out our reviews of all of these models, and we're gonna show off more of the versatility of this bike rack, but stay tuned. We'll tell you our favorite reason that we love the Quicker Stuff bike rack. This is the Rad Power Bikes Rad Runner 3 Plus on the Quicker Rack. And this is a bike that we wouldn't normally put on a bike rack, the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And one quick tip that the Aerial Rider Grizzly made us think about was to remove the batteries. Uh, just something we like to do, uh, gives you a little bit less weight here on the back of your rack and you can store them on the nice temperature controlled inside of your car. This is the Ufree City Robin. And this is the Rye 1UP 700 series. Again, another example of it working great with bikes with fenders. No wheel strap needed on this one. And that gets us to our favorite thing about the Quicker Rack. Is that it is made in the USA as well as Quicker Stuff is dedicated to American jobs. So trying to keep everything in Grand Junction, Colorado or in the United States. Really cool to see from a company. Thanks for burning the midnight oil with us. Hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, you can save 25 bucks on your own Quicker Stuff Rack. And if you're looking to purchase an electric bike, why not use one of our links to help support the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys in the next one.